Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Likewise, and I'm a board certified behavior analyst. I took my VCBA exam later in my career, and I know how hard it is to juggle work, life, family and study for this exam. So I've been making videos every single day to help you study. Today we're going to talk about the difference between rule governed behavior and contingency shaped behavior and I'll give you examples of each. So watch to the end. Hey guys and welcome back. Like I said, we're, today we're going to talk about rule governed behavior versus contingency shaped behavior. This is something that you do want to be able to differentiate between. Really what you're going to need to know is when you are given an, an example, what it falls under. So let's look first at what they both mean. What is a rule governed behavior? Well, rule governed behavior is when you do you follow a rule or you behave in a way because you should because you've been told you should, because it's known that you should. So for example, you know, if you don't speed because you know that you're not supposed to or you'll get a, a speeding ticket, that's rule governed behavior. Or if you wear your seatbelt in the car because you know that there is a fine for not doing so, that's rule governed behavior. Or if you pick up your dog poop because there's a sign on your complex that says fine or summons for not picking up your dog poop. That's rule governed behavior. And if you change your oil in your car regularly, because when you were a kid, your dad told you when you were learning to drive, you didn't, your transmission would die. That's rule governed behavior. The opposite is contingency shaped behavior. Contingency shaped behavior is when you act in a way because you've experienced either a positive or negative outcome in the past by encountering a contingency. So in the same exact examples, if you got a speeding ticket and that's why you no longer speed, then it's contingency shaped behavior. You know, if you got a fine for not picking up your dog poop, then it's contingency shaped behavior, right? Because you came into the contingency I don't pick up dog poop, I get a fine. You know, if your transmission died in your car because you never changed your engine, it's contingency shaped behavior, right? You, you had a past experience which made you act a certain way. And when you're looking for the differences between rule governed behavior and contingency shaped behavior, those are going to be your key words when you're trying to decipher, especially on the, in the BCBA exam, what the difference is between rule governed behavior and contingency shaped behavior. Just ask yourself, did they come into the contingency? Did they actually have an experience in the past that is influencing this or this behaving this way just because they should or it's a rule or it's a law or because they've been told that that's what they should do? You know, and that's really how you're going to get your answer. So I really hope that this has helped you. Um, I partnered with Dr. Catherine May. If you have not heard from ABA Mindset, we put together an amazing task list five crash course. It goes over the entire edition of the task list. It is currently in pre-sale, so it is currently on sale. So I urge you to check that out. If you want to do so, go to tasklist5.com. If you're studying for your exam, I highly recommend it. Um, also, if you have any questions, make sure you type them in on this YouTube channel. What I also would want to encourage you to do is to come up with your own examples of what these things are. And I, I tell people all the time when they're studying for their exam, you know, it's not about memorizing definitions. You can memorize the definitions all day long and it may not help you. It's about being able to apply it. Well, I find the best way to apply information is by writing out your own examples. So what I'm gonna have you do is in the chat below, just write out the definition of what a rule governed behavior is, or excuse me, write out an example example of rule governed behavior and then write out an ex same example of contingency shaped behavior. If you do that, I will reply to your comments and tell you, yes, that is contingency shaped behavior or yes, that is rule governed shaped behavior or I'll tell you, hey, you're missing this. And that's really valuable information to know because if you're not coming up with the examples properly, you're not going to be able to find them on the exam and get the right answer. So I really hope that this has helped you study. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the next video.